Hello, in this video I want to show you a tool that I really believe is amazing. I'm talking about Latex. This is a project that lets you create very professional PDFs and all those documents are going to be in a markup language, kind of like that eventually is going to let you be thrilled about the simplicity and actually the professionalism that you can actually get uh, with those documentation everything in a text file. In this era of artificial intelligence, moving everything to text is very, very good, it's very powerful, but at the same time, it's going to be as good as we can actually take all those documentation. Latex basically uses a format that is actually similar to markup with an additional extension uh, classifications, but eventually it's very powerful because it's going to render all the documentation in a format that is going to be very professional templates. We want to go through this, we want to go ahead and do that in a Linux uh, based, this Debian based distribution, X Ubuntu, and eventually you see how easy it is to install and get it going. There are some other alternatives that can do it online and eventually the project is continue evolving doing some of those things. Latex is actually a very very powerful and professional way to get your documentation going. Some of the sample documents involve uh, math documentations. You can actually do some MIT work that has been using to use latex to build this kind of formats, this kind of equations and actually learning images, eventually math functions and eventually references for a professional documentation. One of the things we want to be using in Debian is going to be the software text maker, which is fantastic because it includes all the dependencies, all the compiler, everything that you need to do to render your text file in some kind of a format that is kind of drawing actually rich text format and eventually can be easy editable, easy to, to maintain and easy to cut a kind of a, in a version. I'm, I'm thinking to use it to some kind of a documentation for a Cisco CCNA, eventually get the documentation shared with the community, improve the community, have multi-language, multi-support, at the end of the day it's just text file. This is going to be based on a Debian um, machine, Debian based machine, which is actually a, a very good uh, solution to, to install. It's going to be hosted in a virtual ho virtual box. Virtual box is going to be a my preferred tool to use at home. Thank you, VirtualBox and Sun Microsystems. X Ubuntu is going to be the distribution that I'm going to be running at this time. But any other distribution, Red Hat Base or uh, Debian Base or whatnot, Arch or, or the one you use, it will work as well. And thank you much for ShareX, which is actually the portable version 12.3, the one you're using to bring you this video and audio. Uh, with all that out of the way. All the files, all the documentation is going to be in my Docker repo. Uh, free for to check it out. Latex video is going to be the, the instructions we're going to be following from the initial document to start adding the sections, creating the library. Go through the library. Feel free to go ahead and dive into the text, get it or enrich it. And of course, if you are passionate about Linux, why don't go ahead and check it out? Build your own Linux distribution uh, from scratch. Some shell script, there's some videos, and there's something added. Uh, with all that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and start uh, going to the the machine we're going to be working on. Basically, um, the X Ubuntu machine, and I want to log in. It's going to be um, I'm on my home directory. As you can see. There's nothing fancy, just X Ubuntu. Let's go ahead and create a folder um, like my latex. Okay. And uh, now I'm connected on the same box. Uh, let's go ahead to the folder we just created. Of course, it's perfectly fine. And let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is actually, according to that, is going to be let's create a latex document, which is going to be the extension TX. And it's going to look really simple. Well, let's go ahead and install, install the software first. First, we need to actually run a software. So, eventually, let me come root and let me do apt install text maker. That's all. And if you do Y, it's going to actually install all the dependencies. It doesn't take a whole lot of resources. And the way you can actually see it's running is going to be with TextMaker. Uh, I want to run the background so eventually you can keep the console working. And this is what it looks like. Pretty simple. You have some text file. You have some PDF rendering. So no, no, nothing really fancy at this time. 
uh, nothing really that stands out but check this out I'm gonna go ahead and go to the the same um, document I want to create something that I'm gonna do vi book that text text is the preferred extension I'm using vim actually when I get there let's take a look real quick to see what we have uh, basically what we have is a document is defined as a, as a book a document what is my my four pages document of course my name is gonna be Dinos today is the day the day is fine uh, this is going to be a sample four chapter document table of contents start defining the chapter sections chapter two chapter three chapter four so on and so forth conclusion and that's about it it's just kind of a little markup text language as you can see that's all that's all she wrote if I go back here to um, the option to open uh, let's see if we can open the, the file home my latex books and there's a file there's a text file that actually we just built um, looks uh, just in a highlighted format but if I run quick build check this out on the right side what I'm gonna get is gonna get a PDF representation of the document the chapter document the dates and right off the bat is gonna actually start building all the contents all the information just like a professional printing uh, documentation for a object with a latex intrus 221 look at the format looks pretty good look how everything's pretty organized look at the foot page and actually the pages the indentation everything's just is at your fingertips just with a little bitty piece of text that actually I put so that's pretty cool that's really actually awesome now what happened if in some point I like to go ahead um, let's take a look to the um, let's take a look to the book the text file uh, this part right here let's focus on this one we have a chapter introduction text and this is actually the, the text the, the first the first chapter you can actually dosify uh, your files organize your file system the way you want it absolutely nothing prevent you to do it so one of the things is uh, let's go ahead and create let's go ahead and create something that is going to be probably a folder so eventually in the file system let's say we want to have a let's say we have 20 chapters or 20 chapters we want to create something like it's going to be the introduction uh, possibly the the folder and eventually intro that text so eventually I have nothing I can do make directory uh, I can actually do introduction see the introduction and uh, let's say vi intro that text so here is the intro that text file now let's say we want to actually add something how about if we add some kind of um, lorem ipsum if I want to do that that would be pretty cool because I don't have to actually complete and put any kind of text so eventually that will give me some kind of a uh, placeholder just to see what it would look like with lorem ipsum but in order to do that let's go ahead and um, add the right package the right dependency so eventually we tell latex to say precisely use package l ipsum with that package now latex is going to know that it's going to have to be able to create lorem ipsum paragraphs without having to create it like the one we added and we want to actually add there's something else that actually we need to do here we are never telling um, we're never telling here to actually um, get the intro for instance so this actually has to be a this has to be a line that actually says um, include really the chapter is there Lord Mipson is there but we really need to tell the the file that actually we want to include or or more appropriate to tell it to actually um, use this as an input file so in this one it's not really a chapter it's an input file let's go back to the document let's close it let's reopen it I can see my folder let's compile it and when I compile it I can see that uh, let me go back to my chapter one let's 
let's uh, let's take a quick adjustment here. Um, one of the things that actually it'd be kind of cool to do is gonna be a modify the right file. Uh, in the intro the text file input the file name and it's actually going to be the file name that class and uh, we got uh, the user package we got introduction intro that text let me just double check the folders see the introduction intro that text which is correct um, and then the intro the text is basically loading Ipsum 2.4 and actually we're loading the library so actually on this one we should be able to actually render it, compile it use package is no user package Okay, let's save, let's compile, typo, yeah, okay, now you can see actually it's building the whole index, now there's the lorem ipsum, you see all those lines, the two lines of the lorem ipsum 2-4 create those paragraphs, that's pretty cool, and we get those placeholders on that one, it just added directly into the introduction of the chapter so that's pretty cool just the uh, uh, use package just need to be careful on the syntax use package lorem ipsum load the packets and when we use it on intro that text we were able to actually see with lorem ipsum added two four paragraphs on lorem ipsum text just as a placeholder which is super cool uh, moving on with the with the demo the other thing we like to add it is actually something that is pretty pretty interesting um is something that we can add rich text format and eventually we can add things like uh, in in this example for example the the linux file system we can go back and do the let's say chapter two uh, or something like that we can just get here be book the text um we can do we can do uh, input let's say Chapter two, um, maybe chapter two as well. The text, of course, the naming convention is up to you completely. <coughs> chapter two, chapter two, uh, one is capitalized, the other's not. So I can uh, create a directory chapter two and can be a chapter two, the text file. In this text file, let's say we're gonna do, let's create a table. And it's gonna look like that, the Linux file system. Uh, if I go back and um, respectfully do the um, closing of the file and reopen it, now it's effective, okay, we'll chapter two and rebuild the, the, pro, the compile the program I'll be able to see that I see my lorem ipsum text just like here and eventually see the hierarchy on a table so you can see how cool we can actually base out of simple text um, the, the neatness of uh, what is um, right here the definition in text ampersands just the table as many tables as you want you can create this part but it gets even better so what if we like to actually add some kind of more styling because again this is very professional right we can actually get um, get some more get more fancy in, in terms of our table so let's see we want to do something like uh, we want to add another formatted table now and in this case, I want to use from a CCNA course, the RFC 1918, the subnets that actually are added. But this is actually taking some things, some extra features, which I want to need another package that um, we need to take advantage. So eventually, let's go to the user package definition 
and what we need to do is actually add to the lorem ipsum just like we add the lorem ipsum package we're going to have to add extra helpers for this uh, particular um, document that eventually is going to help us to build the color table so eventually we can actually close it reopen it go for a book text compile it and let's see what it looks like now it's actually going to be looking even cooler because we want to have the lorem ipsum text the text that we see for the file system but now look at this now we have just embedding some text rfc 1918 the subnet classes for class abc on a ipv4 uh, ccna class that defines what is the abc whether it's going to be classless um or um the experimental the multicast everything that is by definition which actually i think be fantastic to have something like this because at the end of the day we're only going to be talking about editing some files such as uh, how complicated it was really um, see the chapter 2 be chapter 2 how complicated it was really take a look to these this text and actually just definitions you can actually edit and modify super easy it's going to be in text format and it's going to give you a nice professional representation of the class with everything control control of what you have full control of what you need this is super cool this is super power powerful if you want to actually get some things yes i know there's some other documentation projects like uh uh, Python libraries and some Pandoc and convert uh, markup documents like uh, GitHub and some other ones. Yeah, they're pretty cool. There's some converters, but eventually, if you want to get something professional, something to contribute to the community, consider build a LaTeX, LaTeX uh, project. Get something, get something multi language, get it hosted, and get it, get it out there. Um, hopefully, you learn a little bit about this. Let me know if you like uh, and the videos on this one. We can make some more, get, get some more advanced features like uh, equations, uh, graphics, and things like that. But I just want to share a little bit of the things that I saw that I think is pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all just kind of um, basic text that eventually can let you with very professional documentation uh, that it can be extensively translated to multi-language in, in an ease. So everything is at your fingertips. Consider to pick some project, pick some learning, never stop learning, document something, create your latex project. Hope you enjoyed. Give a click if you like it. Have a great day.